And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's Friday, the 4th of August, 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets now as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Plus, the news we had mild losses in the session in US overnight. So, market jitters subside a little bit, but still present to some degree on that raging news. We've also got uh, the eyes on the non farm payroll jobs data tonight, of course. Earnings continue to come across the wires. Uh, tech earnings were mixed after the bell saw Amazon rise about 8% in after hours trading. Apple dropped 2%. Consequently, of course, US futures are higher in Asian trading. Asian markets are mixed in early trading. ASX is just below neutral with materials and energy performing. European futures are pointing to a slightly higher open and the VIX has calmed down after spiking a little bit a couple of days ago and does remain near historical lows. US dollar index trade lower to bounce off monthly highs and is lower in Asia so far. Gold is trading near neutral and copper has bounced off that important 385 support level. Oil recovered, had a big day yesterday and is near highs again, not seen for 15 months. Earnings continue, of course. We've got non farm payroll, the highlight in the economic data front. A German factory orders due, also Eurozone retail sales and Canadian jobs also out later. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. In the FX world, we are looking at the Euro Aussie. Here's a 30 minute chart. You can see we tipped over during the course of yesterday. And look as though we may continue that today. We had a slight tick up. Now, but you can see we're now just sort of drifting down. Watch for a break of this 166.41 as a key level. We could see a 40 pip move to the downside if that happens. On the ASX, we are looking at TWE, which is threatening this 11.65 level. You can see we're off the highs of the session a little bit, up on a 15 minute chart. So we opened really quite well and then just sort of dropped down significantly by around about 25 cents. So we really need to see that pick up and close near the top third of the candle. Uh, and then we might see some further upside in this, possibly to around about this 12.50 level. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.